Hello and welcome to RMI's Advantage 365 demo video series. Today we're going to be looking at a high level overview of the Advantage 365 system. We're going to be looking at a lot of different features and the way that we navigate around in the system. So first, let's look at the home page that we're on right now. This is what we refer to as the dashboard. Now everyone's dashboard is going to look a little bit different because the tiles that you have these blue boxes are what I'm referring to as tiles. The tiles that you have available are going to be different depending on your permissions. Your ribbon, which is what we call this area across the top, and your navigation pane might all look different depending on the permissions you have. As an example, this is an actual dashboard used by a real Advantage user who happens to be a service tech. They only have two tiles on their dashboard, a handful of actions in their ribbon, and a few options in their navigation pane. So this can be as simple or as in-depth as you would like it to be. For now, we're going to focus on my dashboard, which has a lot of different things in it. So for one, I want to draw your attention to these billing activities. So this is one of the special things about our system, is the ability to batch post a number of things. So first of all, if you are a company that does rentals, you can batch post your rental orders and have this process run automatically so that the system looks through all of your existing orders to see what's ready to be billed, and it will create the invoice. You can also have the system automatically run this batch email invoices function. And what this does is for customers that have email invoicing set up, which is just a check in a box on their customer record, it will automatically send those generated invoices to them via email. And finally, you can batch authorize the credit cards that you have on file. We do have integrated credit card processing in a PCI compliant environment, so it's secure and encrypted. And it can charge the credit card, so you come in the next day having run all of these overnight and your billing is basically done. The three primary ways that you navigate around in our system is with the ribbon across the top. The options available here will change depending on where you are in the system, and we'll see that a little bit later. The navigation pane on the left, or our universal search bar. And in this, you can type in anything. If I wanted to navigate to my planned maintenance board, I could search it there. To my account schedules, etc. Now I'm going to take us to a customer record to show you some of the features there. So here you see it brought me to my customer list. And when I open my customer card, I'm greeted first with the general information about that customer. Everywhere in the system you'll see these little gray panels on the right. If I expand that, that's going to give me a fact box. So if this customer had open orders or quotes um, or posted shipments or receipts, I'd see them here. Looking back at their customer record, I can see their communication information and this email address field here is the one that would receive the invoices that are emailed. And under the invoicing options are a lot of different features. So you'll see bill to customer number. You can have a bill to, a sell to, and a ship to customer all be different on the same rental order. You can also track insurance expiration dates and it will alert you if you try to create a new order for them and it's overdue. You can also assign what we call a default deal code, but really this is if you have a way that you typically bill this person, whether it's in advance versus in arrears, or maybe this customer specifically gets weekly pricing and typically you do monthly, you can set it up to be defaulted for this customer so you don't have to remember that special pricing. And you'll see in the ribbon up at the top that you can also keep their credit cards on file here. As soon as their information is entered, it is encrypted. Next, let's move on to looking at a rental order. I'm going to click this gray bar on the left to go back and navigate to rentals in my navigation pane. So I'll open up a rental order here. And here we see again the general information, which is actually different from the shipping information for this particular order. And from the order, you can create delivery work orders, um, delivery tickets, return tickets. You can attach documents such as a signed quote or a signed delivery ticket. 
You can also rent and sell on the same order. So here you see a boom lift being rented, but you also see them being charged for delivery or pickup. And obviously you'll also need to be checking availability, and one way to do that is with this button in the ribbon at the top for checking the availability by period. So this boom lift is a product of mine, but I don't know which specific unit number went out. I might have a hundred different boom lifts, and that's what that availability tells me, which specific unit numbers are actually available on the dates that I need it for this order. There are a lot of different ways that you can check availability. You don't have to do it directly on the order. There are also reports that you can run, or you can simply look at your list of fixed assets and see in this on rent column whether it's on rent or not fields that say yes they're on rent if I come over to my gray fact box I can see the rental order number they are on and who it's rented to and like most blue fields in this system when I click on it it'll bring me to that record or bring me to more details about that record something else you can see from this fixed asset list is the location code so, so if you have multiple locations, you'll be able to see which specific unit number is where, and you can return them to different locations and transfer your inventory between locations. So in this case, for these air compressors, I have one in Providence, one in Hartford, and one in Boston. This multi-location feature does extend to the inventory items and parts inventory as well. You can set up SKUs for the multiple locations. And here I've opened up an item card for a Micron filter bag. I can see that I have 19 on hand, and if I had some currently on a purchase order or on a sales order, service order, etc., I'd be able to see that breakdown here. Something else you can do from an item record is determine what you want your profit calculation to be, and as you purchase new parts, the system will automatically update your price depending on what you said you wanted your profit to be. Scrolling down a little further, I can also set up a defined vendor and vendor item number, and we do offer vendor price imports as well, which makes it a lot easier for you to reorder. So if you have these reorder points specified for when you want to order more of that part, it'll look through the system, it can create those POs for you, and all you have to do is send it to your vendor. Let's come back out to our navigation pane. Our final stop for this short demo is going to be finance. Now in the background of this system of everything that you do is a very sophisticated accounting system. We have a full chart of accounts, we use dimensions to help you slice and dice revenue data by a number of different criteria. When you purchase something, acquisition cost is entered. When you sell something, cost of goods sold is entered. Your sales tax is recorded. All of these accounting functions are happening in the background with every transaction you make. And when it comes time to run your account schedules, you can do that from your report tab in the ribbon. Now coming back to the navigation pane, there are a number of features we didn't touch on today, such as service, purchasing, and sales, but I hope you'll view our other demo videos to learn more about those. And if you have any questions about the Advantage 365 software, please give us a call at 1-800-252-5011, extension 2 for sales, or email us at sales at rmiusa.com.